What is going on everybody? We're back today. We're going to be starting up a new series on the channel. Today, we're playing the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Medan. This is a, another one of those adventure, choose-your-own story type of games. It's, the, it's by the same people that made uh, Until Dawn, which we played recently on the channel, and uh, The Quarry. Um, it's uh, obviously not as popular as the other two games, but uh, it's still by those same people, so it should be a good-ass game. It's a lot shorter than the other games. It's only about four, four-and-a-half-hour game. So I thought, why not start up a little series? Let me know, because there's, there's, there's also three um, games of these. There's three different ones. So let me know if you uh, want to see the other two, but this one looked like the most interesting to me. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, start it up. Hold on, actually, let me go to settings. We gotta put on subtitles real quick before we start anything. You already know. Save. Beautiful. I have no idea what to expect. I just seen that this was free, so. Play alone. New story. New save data. And here we go. Man of Medan. Looks like we're uh, a vet of some war. Looks like we're in China. All right, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. <laughs> Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. Joe, Dockside Market, in Manchuria, 912 p.m. post World War II. Oh, sorry. Before we uh, get into this, this there's, uh, I believe, three games. There's one that's about uh, the military. There's one about a college. Um, like college kids and then they have to go on a tour bus and then there's one like an underwater one so we might check all three out but yeah let's go back to it uh say nothing curious tell me about my son devious will i be rich curious uh i guess i just want to know about my son will he uh is he gonna grow up all right things gonna work out for him Dragon tile or bamboo tile? Dragon? It looks like a fish? Okay. Your fortune may come from any direction, like a mysterious wind. Death? 
Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Oh. Hey, bud. Let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? You know be need Fine? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Trophy yeah, end. looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know? It? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Setting off to sea, I guess. Oh, big storm. Hold on. Uh, brightness. It is already okay. Beauty. Oh. Lightning just hit it. Joe, Sick Bay, 1:36 a.m. June 22nd. Uh. 
There's a lock. Okay. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Okay then. <laughs> I didn't expect someone to be actually in there and dead, but that's fucking weird. Yeah, take the key. Poor guy. I don't know how he died, but... Why is it so quiet? Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? Heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Uh, this mic. What's wrong with that guy, bro? Why is he hearing like that? Jesus Christ. That kind of scared me a little bit. Oh. I was like, oh, I don't know how I was supposed to do that. Not, I'm not even. Sure. No idea. Maybe you're supposed to hit X when you're. Uh, maybe you're supposed to hit X when you go for the heartbeat thing. Oh. What was that? Um. got squished between the door and the fucking uh, crate there. Poor guy. What has happened? Oh, You're another dead. dead guy. Another stick? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Why are his eyes like that? Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Jesus. There are dead people everywhere. What the fuck happened? Oh, Charlie, get over here. Oh, oh. Looks 
like a Tommy gun and an AR. Or, I'm sorry, a Tommy gun and a knife. Kid is whack. Hey, come here. Oh, oh, God, no, Charlie. Oh? I shot him, what? He's dead. He died already. <laughs> the fucking main character already died. Just the intro. Like. Oh, who's this guy? Starring Sean Ashmore. Ariel Palak, Aisha Issa. Chris Sandiford, Kareem Alimi, Chiwimini Miller, Kawazi Sanguai, Russell Yuan. This guy. Oh, what the hell is that? Story by Supermassive Games. Screenplay by Graham Resnick and Larry Fezidin. Original story by Jason Graves.
super dark. Hi, bud. Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories uh. of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out <laughs> you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions or should I say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer that's all for the moment we'll talk again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken or whatever mess you've made okay how are we doing on time or again So that was just like a little intro. I'm a, I'm sort of confused. Oh yeah, here we are. Okay. That was just like a little intro, and I guess we're not playing the soldier one. Th yeah, this is the one I was. This yeah, this is the one. This is the one I was talking about. The one on the boat and shit. Yeah. All right. All right. This makes sense. Brad, witty. Alex's brother, innocent. Brad, Duke of Milan, French Polynesia, 8:30 a.m. present day. Alex motivated Brad's brother Julia's boyfriend insecure. I guess that military one was like a like a, a flashback or something. So uh look. I've never been down there before. Down. The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh are you serious? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kinda of, yeah. Insecure, it's embarrassing, resentful. I had to work. Resentful. I wanted to. I just didn't didn't have time, you know. I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Accusatory. I was invited. Uneasy. Not good with people. Accusatory. Uh, Brother thing, along? you know. Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing... Julia, it's been rough. 
Cynical. It's been two weeks. Empathetic must be tough. Cynical. It's been like two weeks. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? Oh. No, but... Asking his little Miriam. Kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Cautious, give it some thought. Sentimental, go with your gut. Sentimental. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Julia, excited. Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless. Conrad, Julia's brother, relaxed and foolhardy. This is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. What's up, man? Gun <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Missing. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Yeah, freeze <laughs> Relaxed, yeah, cool, apprehensive, I get seasick. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Gloomy never, self-assured, all the time. <laughs> yeah, totally, all the time. Nice, I was worried they are going to stick me with a noob. Oh, uh, nope, not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know, here and there, family trip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Fliss, impatient captain of the Duke of Milan, courageous. Well, there she is. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Oh, bud, there goes Conrad. Fucking idiot. Why is he standing on a fucking moving boat? Oh. Oh. That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. <sighs> You, uh, wanna go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh, boy. Alex, Duke of Milan, offshore, North French Polynesia, 5.30 p.m., June 20th. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Optimistic. Brad did his homework. Frustrated. Brad was so sure. Optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. What is it? 
Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Flip, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Annoyed, who cares? Disappointed, can't dive. Who cares? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. Don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Alright. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Felicity Dubois. This doesn't look kosher. In here. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. This guy just said brewski. Sympathetic, don't worry, Stern. You should know better. Sympathetic. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Did more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Sure, Julia left anything on the mainland. Shroud of Innocence. Oh, there's perfume. It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. All right. Head back upstairs. Talk to the captain. What's her name again? Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Polite, sorry about earlier. Forceful, we paid a lot for this. Polite. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, Fliss. and laws, oh. and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Self-assured dived a couple of wrecks, suspicious fake credentials. Dived a couple of wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Belligerent. Who's gonna know Pompous? I get it. How much? Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Okay. What's this thing? The weather? you know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Okay, uh, 
Could There's a little gap around. in the tail. Take a look. Scroll through all the pictures. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Julia. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Playful, looking good, Jay. Appreciative. Thanks for setting me straight. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. I know it. <laughs> Does he sound like that? Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Ooh, survival knife. Looking for a first mate. Uh, take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Oh, okay. All right, kids. Take this too. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. You could just not take it and then what? Die? Like. Looks like we're ready to go. Yo, stop. She went Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> it's not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That chief. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Oh, okay, on the boat. Fliss, Duke of Milan, 6.15 p.m. June 20th. You fancy a pint with your second in command? Oh. You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client it's requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Relax, sure, why not? Disapproving pass, I need to focus. Fucking get relaxed, who cares? Sure, why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Subdued, it's a long story, self-assured. Don't ask a lady about her money, subdued. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan? You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested, maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Appreciative. That's kind. Of, that's very kind of you, resentful. I built the business from scratch. Appreciative. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Oh. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear.
How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Disapproving, go easy on the booze, sympathetic. Hey, it's your vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. <laughs> Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Concerned. Uh, something they know what they're doing. What do you, what do you know? Concerned. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? What about, what other dives? Uh, curious. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. It's over here. Oh, what's this? Oh? Why do I keep these around? <laughs> For real. Hey there, how's it hanging? Relax, taking advantage of your relaxation time starting, you can monitor the dive. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I know it, I'm serious, curious. So are you beached? <laughs> so are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? Romantic, I have to keep cr track of the dive, but nice one. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. Oh? <laughs> A pin of frosty amber liquid. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. Weather looks clear. Bro, we already said that, yeah. What boat maintenance do you want me to do? You want me to look at this, or...? Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Oh, oh. Binoculars? Oh. Uh, there's a boat coming. that about yeah uh, uneasy that's not the Coast Guard dismissive fishing boat from the looks of it that is not the Coast Guard so we're not under arrest how should we handle this confident be quiet and let me handle it worried this feels off worried this feels, this off. feels off just be quiet and don't say anything stupid okay oh Oh! Angry, get out of here. We've got divers in the water. Hey, get out of here! What do you think you're doing?
That was sus. Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Oh, why? Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? Bro, what do are you 30. doing? Why are you showing them the other money? Right, you guys drive oh, he looks like Fetty Wap. I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. He looks really mad. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're good. Yo, stop. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? <laughs> the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Conrad. Julia, South Pacific Rec Site, 6.12 p.m. June 20th. Sure. We can get him through there. What's this? A little hole? Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Flippin', leave a, live a little concerned. Maybe it's kind of dangerous. Yeah, it is kind of dangerous. Kinda dangerous. Yeah, so go through the fucking main one. Nope. Oh, a cigar? Or, oh, that's a bullet, not a cigar. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Who's Brad? Oh, his brother. My fault. Not really paying attention to the character names. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Do 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 do. I love diving. Oh. Good God. It's a dead soldier. Yeah, touch him. Ugh. 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 He's holding something. A locket. A picture of his wife. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Oh. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Oh, uh, what am I beating here? <laughs> oh, we did it. Pick it up. Don't fucking leave it there. Oh. He has a gun. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh. That was scary. I though. think I wet my wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Why does he have a gun, though? Oh. 
Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! For real. I say. Oh wait, I'm so confused. He's looking at something, he's not following me. There's nothing in here. I'm going up into the tiny hole. Oh, never mind. No, this isn't the right time, bro. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? Astounding. We almost died. Suspicious. You're shitting me, right? You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh. Okay. Come on, guys. The gig is up. Julia, I'm serious. Bro, what? That was not the time. Loving, yes. Shocked. I need time to think about this. Just say yeah. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> he just dies right here. They both die right here. This is so not the time. Who does this? Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Yes, yes, I'll marry you. Cliff, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Oh? Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Fright, bright. Brightened. My brother's up there. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Cautious. Yeah, okay. Decompress. Right. Panicked. Fuck it. I'm going. This is taking too long. Panic. Just go. Just go. Fuck it. I'm going. JJ, don't worry about it. Oh. There was a little, uh, mishap. 
with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Bewildered. Why are you paying? Why are you paying the ocean? What's up with the other boat? Bewildered. So why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, they were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my God, you guys! Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. <laughs> Come up and let's celebrate. That was not the time at all to do that, but hey, I mean, she said yeah. Well, I mean, I made her say yes, but like that was awful. That was an awful fucking proposal. <laughs> Oh, what a beginning. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. <laughs> or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Okay, well, seems like a good point to leave it off. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and until my next video, see you guys. Peace.